Good morning, everybody. It is about 7.15 a.m. Our train is at 7.39 to Florence. So we got a little bit of a later start. It is raining. Um, hopefully we can find some breakfast at the train station. Here we go. asleep for the hour. I have no idea what was between Pisa and Florence. I don't think we were really missing that much. Were we missing anything? Uh, it was kind of rainy and kind of hazy so we couldn't really see all that much. On the way back we'll get some footage hopefully if it's not too dark. Is it too early? chapel and the bell tower and then right here is the baptistry that we'll come back to in a little bit. This is one of the coolest buildings I've, I've ever seen. It's it looks like it's painted but when you get up close it's not. The green that you see all around is actual green stone. We're not sure what it is yet. Yeah like every color is like a it's actually just a different type of stone. It's not like painted on there. It's really incredible. Even the detail of the columns, the spiral work. It is truly a work of art. Now we need to figure out where the heck this line starts to get in. We've been taking a ton of photos, videos, and selfies. So let's do it. I am obsessed with this place. It is so beautiful. There's people all the way at the very top already. You can't see them, but we had to book time slots every hour, and I figured 11 would give us the most time to get from the train here, so that's why I chose 11. So we just read this little sign right here that says the cathedral doesn't open until 10 o'clock. So we were expecting a huge line, but nobody's here yet. So we we're gonna go check out the baptistry, which opened at 8.30. And then since it is about a 15 yard walk, we can see when the cathedral opens and we'll be right here. We just finished 
finished in the baptistry. It doesn't really take that long. We weren't sure what to expect, but it's just like an octagonal building where they used to baptize everyone until the 19th century, it said, but that you can still get baptized here. Um, and it had a really, really pretty ceiling covered in like gold. And now I'm about to show you a gold door that represents the life and passion of the Christ. Okay, so in order to visit all of these places in the piazza, you have to buy a ticket beforehand that costs, I think, 18 euros per person. The cathedral is free to get into. They just said the line was really long. That's why we wanted to go first thing in the morning. But then in order to climb the bell tower, the dome, and to get into the baptistry, you have to have this ticket. So it skips the line and all that stuff. So that's why we can kind of pick and choose where we want to go. Um, but yeah, like they don't have ticket offices here, so you can only do it online. So that's one thing to know. Also, I found out that the green stone is green marble. It is the white marble. Mm -hmm. Very cool. next to the cathedral on the back side called the Cafeteria. We got a regular croissant, a vanilla custard croissant, and a Nutella croissant for me. And I haven't had caffeine today, so Coke is the way I'm gonna go because I like my coffee with a lot of milk and sugar, and I feel like a lot of people like to drink their coffee just like a plain espresso, and I can't do that. So, okay, it's about 9.45. And so we're gonna get in line to get into the cathedral. We are about the fifth group in line, so it's all good. And those croissants were delicious, and the whole thing cost us about seven euros. Would recommend. Also, there are guards in the front of the chapel, and I appreciate it because they are making the beggars go away that are coming up to the line and asking for money. Just because we're sitting here waiting in line, so that was different. That was cool. You got a little bit of a powder on your lip, bro. And from the croissant, I promise. Pro tip, just don't take your hands out of the gloves and you'll be warm. We took our hands out of the gloves for croissants and that was a mistake. Even now, though they were really good. I guess worth it. We are ready to go. They just opened it up. Here we go. blocked from getting further than that and then there are we are blocked than getting further than this nativity set so we are hoping that when we go look at the dome we will enter over here and be able to access all that and then we climb the dome and see the painted ceiling up there i learned that it take took 140 years to build this entire cathedral because the dome was incomplete and they didn't know how to finish it so they opened the dome project up to the public and the person who finally built the dome had never had any prior architectural experience which is pretty impressive and he built the dome out of bricks only which was a new concept because most people wanted to build it out of wood and I think I read it has over four million bricks on this entire cathedral it is the largest masonry dome in the world. I think masonry means bricks. So the dome that you've been seeing from the outside, the famous Florence dome, is just kind of a roof. There is a gap between that dome and the actual internal dome. So in between, there are staircases that you can walk, and that's what we're about to walk, 430 steps to get to the top of the actual dome. We have finished up our tour of the cathedral. We were blocked in certain areas, so there wasn't a whole lot to see. And now we are going to walk around a little bit until we can actually get to our assigned spot for the climb of the dome, which is in about 40 minutes. So 
It's raining. I'm gonna put the camera away real quick and bring it back out when we go climb the dome. Actually, the bell tower is right across the way, so we are gonna go try to climb that really quick. Are you sure? He's just kidding. I just lied to him. The door's <laughs> over there. Were you halfway? No. Ah. Probably just catch us more down. Oh my god. Okay, I think we're like halfway. Here's the cathedral or the baptistry there. Alright, let's go. Oh, we are pretty far. Let's finish this thing. I don't think we're there yet. Three quarters of the way. Let's see. Look at this view though. All right, let's do this. Still going up. Still going up. Warning. This is hard. But if you don't want to climb all the way to the top, you can go to that first landing we stopped at and still see above the rooftop. Taylor has made it to the top. I don't think I can get there. I am straight dying. We made it. Barely. Woo! Well, this is exciting. We are pretty high up here, huh? Yeah. Look at this view. It's pretty incredible. I apologize for a shorter breath. We are at the tippy, tippy, tippy top of this bell tower, and you can walk all around it. Pretty cool. Now look at this. Look at that dome. Pretty incredible. So it took us about 10 minutes to climb this whole thing. We're supposed to be over there starting our tour in 15 minutes. It's about a five minute walk, so we gotta hustle down. Here we go. <laughs> All right, it's raining, so I'm trying to protect the camera, but we are in line for our 11 o'clock climb up to the dome. Back to do what we just did. We are definitely working off those croissants, and we have to go ready for pizza. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I'm prepared for this. My legs are still wobbly from the bell tower. So this should be fun. I would recommend not doing these two back to back. This is terrible. I'm dead. As always, she's a bit dramatic. It's not that bad. up here in a very very tight space yeah, and there's blocking us I can't go further than this and the church is down there so if you can see right about there's my finger right about there there's a huge crack in it that extends all the way up and all the way down Earlier when we were visiting the cathedral, we were all the way down there. And now we're all the way up here <laughs> on this level. So earlier I mentioned this is the inner dome. 
and this is the outer dome and we are walking in the middle we made it to the very top of the dome I don't know which one I prefer if you had to pick one but you can't see the paintings underneath the dome if you don't do if you don't pay to climb up it this way so I would recommend doing this one what about you yeah I would recommend doing it the same way that we did do both they're both worth it I've been up here many times in Assassin's Creed. That is embarrassing, awkward. Unfortunately, there is no roof on the very, very top. So when we were outside, it started raining it was pretty heavy. So we decided to come back in and we're gonna make our way down now. Like I mentioned before, the big difference is that if you don't book this tour, you can't see the painted dome. So I would still recommend doing this one, but the bell tower um, climb was pretty cool. Taylor does not fit in these stairwells. He has to hunch over. Taylor only fits in the little hole up there. <laughs> People back then must do it really short. I mean, us Italians are fun. We're good. Americans. Also, timing wise, I would say it took about 20 minutes to get up there. Probably spent 10 minutes up, mm -hmm. and now it is 11.40, and we're headed down. just got out of the dome and we've decided to come inside into the museum that we also get free access to that's across the street um, with that pass that I was talking about because it is pouring. So we'll try to stay inside. We might find a coffee shop after this. And also I forgot that we have, we don't even have a train to Cinque Terre for tomorrow. So we probably should sit down and book that and figure out what we're doing tomorrow. pretty cool and there was a Michelangelo statue at the very end that we were not expecting to see. How did you feel about it? It was a nice way to kill 30 minutes out of the rain. And while we were in there we booked our train tickets for tomorrow so successful. And now we are headed to get some pizza because of course why not? 